Welcome back to the kitchen, everybody. I hope you're having an amazing day. What do you think about carrots? I like them sometimes in dip, you know, you can take them or leave them every now and then. Carrot hot dogs? Have you guys ever tried the carrot hot dog thing? I have definitely done carrot corn dogs and they actually turned out really well. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because we're gonna be doing that video soon. But today, I'm gonna try a hot dog, and not just a hot dog, but a chili dog. Not just a chili dog, <laughs> but a chili cheese dog. Right here in a minute, we're gonna start our vegan chili cheese dogs. I'm super excited because I've been wanting to try this. So I'm glad you guys are here. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and be sure to hit that bell button so you're alerted for all of our new multiple weekly videos. Give this video a like and a share. All right, so first we're gonna go ahead and get started preparing our carrots to become hot dogs. They're ready for surgery. Here we go. First I wanna mention, stick around till the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you my favorite thing to put on the top of these for an extra crunch. So we're gonna start off by putting some water in a bowl or some type of dish. And I'm gonna put a um, vegan bouillon cube in here. You could also just use broth if that's easier for you. I just really like the flavor that this gives, so I highly recommend doing it this way. But my water wasn't warm enough to melt it, so I had to go ahead and heat my water up, and then it melts a lot easier. So make sure your water is warm. So there it is. I went ahead and heated it up more. It's gonna have little pieces floating here and there. Totally fine, no big deal at all. We're gonna go ahead and add a few other things here. Soy sauce. Apple cider vinegar, smoked paprika, little onion powder, some garlic powder as well, pepper, sea salt little bit of liquid smoke. I don't like using this too often. Just a little bit in there. And go ahead and mix it up. As always, check the description below for exact measurements and a full breakdown of this entire recipe and ingredients. I don't peel my carrots. I just kind of try to make them all the same size. So there's a couple little pieces cut off here and there. But go ahead and put them in here. And I start stabbing them with a fork. <laughs> Stab them a lot, like a lot, a lot. If you've tried carrot hot dogs before, comment below, carrots or hot dogs? <laughs> I wanna know how many of you guys have tried this before. Also comment below and let me know how you liked it. If you loved it or if you were like, let's just leave the carrots, carrots. All right, so we left these overnight in the refrigerator. I highly, highly recommend that let them soak for at least a minimum of four hours. The longer they soak, the more flavor they get in. So overnight is gonna be my recommendation. That's what I did. So here they are. I'm gonna wake them up after their sleepy slumber. And we're gonna get them into a pan and get them boiled. So I just pour the liquid they were soaking in into my pan here and then I'm gonna put the carrots in. If they're not completely submerged, just go ahead and add some water and then you're just gonna let them boil. You're gonna check them on and off to see how soft they are. You wanna be able to stab them with a fork and then fall off the fork on their own. I cannot stress enough that they need to be soft. A crunchy carrot as your hot dog is gonna be a very sad day. you can eat this as just you know a regular hot dog or you can come along on our journey with the chili cheese dog okay so I still have the carrot dogs on the stove they're boiling while they're boiling I thought we could just chat for a second so I'm gonna keep mine very very simple a lot of the time I'll make my own chili which make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be doing that video very very soon but today Sometimes you just don't feel like making your own hot dog and making your own chili and making your own everything. So this is the chili 
that I'm gonna put on top of our chili cheese socks today. It's really good. As always, check the description below for every single product and a complete list of ingredients that I use. This is my favorite that I've had so far. I do not like that it's in a can. It makes me very unhappy. I try very hard not to use any products that come in cans, but it's very rare because typically I make my own. So just every now and then, this is the chili I will use when I'm in a rush, don't have time, don't feel like it. If you know of any other type of chili that doesn't come in uh, an aluminum can, comment below, please let me know. I always wanna know about new products. But anyways, enough about this. This is the chili I use. I'm just gonna chop this onion, put that right on top, keeping my chili cheese dog super simple. And the cheese I'm gonna put over the top is my nacho cheese that I make. I'll go ahead and link that above. This is so easy. It's just, you throw a bunch of the ingredients into a blender, a couple minutes later, boom, done, cheese. So be sure to check that out because this is amazing, not only on chili cheese dogs, but on anything and everything ever. <laughs> I'm gonna get our chili on the stove, that way it gets nice and hot, add the extra seasoning, and we're almost done. So I'm just gonna heat this chili up here. I'm gonna pour it right into my pot. I'm just gonna add a few little extra things of my own. We're gonna do a little salt, a little pepper, a little bit of chili powder, Give this a good mix. And our carrots are just about done. Again, you guys, make sure they are soft. Another way to cook these that is super delicious is after they're done boiling, we have them boiled today and that's what I'm gonna do, but you boil them just a little bit less and then you throw them on the grill and it's really delicious. It gives that really nice, grill taste and it's it's divine so if you're a grill person follow this recipe and once you pull them out from being boiled throw them on the grill for a minute or two just till you get the little char marks and then continue on with the recipe it's amazing i would do it today but i don't want to go outside deal with the grill deal with all that you know me and the carrots are gonna just stay inside today we're feeling like you know a little antisocial. Are you guys feeling cold? Warm those buns up. Toast those buns. All right, here we go. It is time. We're gonna put the chili on top of these bad boys. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so good. It smells so, so delicious. Holy moly, that toasted bun, hot chili, this nacho cheese. Woo! Hit that like button and that share button if you are loving these. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to bite in. Try bringing these to your next family barbecue. Let me know how it goes, comment below, and as promised, what I like to put on top my chili cheese dogs, Fritos. Putting nice crunchy Fritos on top here tastes so good. It really reminds me of a Frito pie wrap, which is one of my favorites, which you could do with most of these ingredients. Throw it into a tortilla, amazing as well. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I say it all the time. Time is precious and you being here means so much to me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell button. Like this video if you found it helpful. Give it a share and we'll see you guys next time.